Hello, I'm Andrew Price, and today we're on the Gower Peninsula in South Wales, which is the area I run most of my bushcraft courses. And today we're carrying out one of my favourite activities, which is coastal foraging. So here we have a great patch of our Welsh national delicacy, Porphyra umbilicalis, which is better known as lava. And this is used to make the Welsh delicacy lava bread. Now, lava bread is a bit like a cow pat, except it tastes absolutely delicious to anyone brave enough to try it. And it's made from this seaweed, but it has to be boiled up for quite some time. Now, I think this looks a bit like black cling film. It sticks to the rocks, but when the tide comes in, it flows freely and it's attached by a single point to the rock, which is where it gets the umbilicalis or umbilical term. It's attached to the rock here and it flows freely. Now, it's an incredible source of protein as well as B vitamins and iodine. So like all seaweeds, really good for you. It gives you a lot of energy. You need to agitate it to get the sand out from in between all the fronds. Now, I generally do this in a couple of changes of water because it'll the sand will sink to the bottom and then you can just decant the water off and you should end up with relatively clean lava at the end of it. So if you just tilt the container up so that the sand falls to one end, so really break it up, get it into small pieces and that will help it, the breaking down then into the lava bread, which is what we're looking for. It's a long, slow cooking process. It takes a while to actually get this to the stage we're looking to get it to. And we're gonna just put it by the fire and get some embers underneath it to get a really nice, even, slow cook on this. Cast iron containers like the South African Poiki are perfect for making lava bread because cast iron distributes the heat all around the outside so it doesn't burn very easily to one side. So what we're gonna do is use the embers of the fire and drag some coals underneath to get the heat where we want it to be. Now, what we need to do next in order to keep to the traditional recipe and the traditional way of cooking it in the Welsh style is to add some oatmeal. So first of all, I'll mix a bit of oatmeal into it. Like so. This just makes it a little bit less sticky. So I'll leave that there for now. Now I've got some really fatty bacon. This is great stuff. If you can find this stuff, it's almost pure fat. And this is what people would use. Traditionally, lava bread is cooked in the bacon fat. So a nice, really fatty bacon that you can get a lot of this great grease out of. Now, no one ever said this was going to be the most healthy food, but you can you can rest assured it tastes a lot better than it looks. Now, this is about as Welsh as any meal could be. Meets the sea, I'll be waiting for the day when.